Every single day we get news about parents mistreating their children. Having a child is a blessing and so you should treat them with the most cure you can. But you know, who is the child that had the worst life ever? The child that literally had to grow inside of the dungeon of fear and hunger! First of all, where do you find the girl? She is gonna be in the literal entrance of the dungeon. There are four different confirmations of the entrance and she can be found in the blue spots that I'm showing now on the screen in all the different layouts. Let's say that finding her is not exactly the problem, but there will be more stuff about her in the future. So, once you find her, you need either lockpicking or a red vial or a small key in order to open the cells she is contained with. And like that, you immediately have access to another party member. And you may say, wow, that's fantastic, but wait. Before exploding in happiness, I have some limitations about the girl that I think we should talk about. First of all, she cannot use shields, she cannot use heavy armors, and specifically the armors displayed now on the screen, including the accessories such as arm guards and leg guards. And after that, also she is only able to use three weapons, which are the dagger, the cursed dagger, and the skeletal arm. Also, we may say, do you see, her attack is five. This makes it so that with the damage formula, she is gonna deal zero damage to all enemies of the dungeon and now you may say ah but that's the worst character ever don't worry there is gonna be more about her first of all i want to talk about some very unique interaction which are the dagger inside of the courtyard if you have the girl in your party you're able to pick it up and she's gonna be able to use it as a weapon and now she's actually able to deal some damage around 20 damage with each hit but it's enough to destroy the majority of the limbs of the dungeon so it should be fine and then in the prisons there is a peculiar doll which is gonna do Nothing. I mean, technically it does something, but since it's a spoiler, we're gonna talk about it at the end of the video, okay? Let's continue. Hmm, guess I still didn't convince you that she's a very good party member. Well, she cannot use a lot of weapons, but she can use items. If you go here in the caves, you're able to collect infinite stones, or even here instead of this house in the past of Mahabre. And what do stones do? Stones are able to deal around 20 damage, so the same damage of the dagger, and they have a 70% chance of stunning the enemy, making the girl literally one of the best party members possible. Also, I don't know if you don't want her, you can also give her to Pocket Cat for one of those items, or to the Moon Lady in the past of Mahabre, in order to have your limbs restored, your health healed, and your status effects removed. I have a guide on Pocket Cat and the Moon Lady if you're interested. Then there is a very special shenanigan if you're playing on Terran Starvation difficulty. Once you are in the past of Mahabre in this part right here, if you walk near the wall with the crack, there is gonna be the Harvestman that is gonna pick up the girl. And uh, he's just gonna pet her. Uh, okay, nothing else related to this. Uh, she's gonna stay there until you defeat the Harvestman, but uh, I think that's fine. I mean, the Harvestman seems a nice guy, look at him. But anyways, there is one very special property of the girl that makes her almost unique, which is the special flag substitute. What does that mean? Basically, when other party members have less than 25% maximum health, and you can recognize it by seeing the health bar, if the health bar is yellow, then she is gonna tank the damage for them. She is gonna take all the damage, except for certain hits. And no, I don't mean certain hits, I mean literally, against certain hits this ability doesn't work. It's a type of damage, there is physical damage, magical damage and then certain hits. On certain hits, she's not gonna work. I could mention all the certain hits in the game because there are a lot, but I think that's the topic for another video. And now, from now here, there will be heavy spoilers, both on lore and on ending A, so if you don't want them, stop the video now. So. Remember the dagger and the peculiar doll? If she has those equipped when you enter into the gauntlet and you start the battle against the god of fear and anger, then in certain moments of the battle she is gonna stop acting for two turns. But we are gonna talk more about this in a video on how to fight the god of fear and anger. I just wanted to mention the possibility of doing this with those items, because I'm sure in the comments there's gonna be someone that says, oh, actually, if you go to the god of fear and anger, don't spoil. And also, because I'm sure the comments are gonna be full of this, if you use a soul stone on her once she's dead, then she's gonna give you a very special soul. But, don't be misled, this soul does nothing. 